Hello there folks, DJ Bergstar here back with another tip of the day. So today I want to talk about another Max for Live device and if you own Ableton Live Suite, I believe the Max for Live device is in the Max for Live folder here called Concord and here it is and I threw that on a MIDI track and after that I have a instrument with a guitar sound and a little bit of EQ and compression on that track and that's about it um, and let's just go over this device I really like it for a couple reasons for one it's very simple if you want it to be um, and then it can be very very detailed if you want it to be as well and it's kind of cool because it's a chord generator and a step sequencer at the same time it'll do chords or just single notes or both um, which is just really awesome um so let me show you what this sounds like if you were to just drop it on your track the way it is and then i'll show you what i did and sort of how simple it was to come up with what i came up with um, so this is what it's like um just right out of the box um without um you know, doing anything to it. So basically it's defaults with eight steps and um, it's set to an eighth note and it's root note you can't change here unless you change uh, the MIDI input and then you can change this uh, to whatever root note you want um, it's set to a C by default here um, and so it starts off like this but let me show you what I did and you can see what this sounds like beautiful all of a sudden and that didn't take a whole lot of work uh, let me throw on my uh, sort of vocal I have here on top of that great now let me show you how I got to that uh, place here so basically I set this to 16 steps instead of just eight and I put it on a quarter note instead of eight so it goes a little slower and what I did was is uh, coming down the line here first I changed some of the notes um, as it goes I went up uh, five steps here and then two steps down here and four steps down there and five up here and three up here um as it goes and i changed my key to a key of d my root note because that's what the track is in and what she's singing so i wanted to match this up to her vocals so i put that on a d um and um, basically i went to chord next and i changed some of these to be chords instead of just um a simple uh note and it has this strum at the bottom here as well so it almost sounds like the chord is being strummed a little bit and that is great because it gives it more of a human feel um, and you know livens it up just that little bit more also um, you'll notice under here the next line is um, you know the type of chord so these are major chords I have it set but you can set that to minors and you know sus chords and just all the different chords are in here which is great so you can match that up to whatever key your track is in so it has that as well um, now here's you know it can go forward and backwards and forward and backwards and this star will uh, jump around it's like a random 
which is interesting if you wanted it to do that. Um, I wanted it just to keep doing the same thing, so that's what I have going. Um, now, here's where it can be very advanced if you want it to, and I'm not going to go over all the things it can do here um, in this tutorial, but um, if you look on the left over here, in the information it will tell you what these things do uh, the yellow and the gray um, numbers here they each have different things they can do um, and it can be pretty complicated where every time it goes around this will skip notes and play different notes and things like that um, and the pulse count down here at the bottom um, it will wait to play that note for a, an extra step and things like that so this can get pretty complicated if you wanted it to be um, which maybe that's what you want um, but for now we're gonna stick with just sort of the steps and the chords um, and that's what I did to get this to sound like it did um, let's hear it with a little bit of drums and a, a vocal here and you can hear what that sounds like as well You're at the sun. What I like about it as well is when you're here at the uh, velocity, it has velocity um, capability of changing your velocity sensitivity, which is great because this instrument I chose, this guitar, when you hit it really hard, it kind of slides up to the note um, and that's great that's why you're hearing it like it is because I've changed these velocities on a couple notes and um, that gives it that slide feel so it adds that more um, natural kind of guitar sound um, uh, and makes it um, you know a really nice guitar sequence here I think um, to be able to change the velocity like that and then to add those chords as it goes is great so this is sort of like I said a step sequencer and a chord generator at the same time which is um, you know kind of cool that it does both like that so um, just by changing um, you know some of the notes adding a couple of chords here um, we were able to come up with this um, pretty interesting um, sequence here that uh, just sounds really beautiful um, using the Concord Max for Live device. Okay, well, I guess that's all I wanted to say about this Concord device for now. Um, it's a really cool Max for Live device, which you'll find in your Max for Live folder. If you don't have it downloaded for some reason, I do believe it's a free download on maxforlive.com if you don't already have it. Um, so I would recommend, you know, downloading it and using it because um, it's a... It can be, like I said, as easy as you want or as complicated as you want sort of a um, device. And um, it sounds really great if you put the right instrument uh, along with it. So anyway, uh, thanks again for watching, folks. I hope to see you on the next one. DJ Bergstar out.